Hello and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial by Profoundtree. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about audio levels and basically how to understand them. So let's go ahead and open a project. So once we have a project open, we're going to go across to audio and select audio. Um, this will bring up your three audio level channels, as you can see here. So if I go back to the start of the sequence and click play, just give it a second to load um, and go ahead and click play. So as you can see here, this is our audio meter. So as we know, audio is measured in decibels. Um, audio has a maximum of zero decibels. Um, anything above that is basically what we call a level adjustment. So anything over zero, um, the level has been adjusted. And usually you'll notice uh, sound distortion if it goes over zero, which is why we have audio parameters and audio limiters. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to set an audio limit. So what we're gonna do is go to effects and search for dynamics. We're then gonna drag this. Um, it depends if we want it just on a particular clip um, if you want it on the whole sequence, then you would create an adjustment layer and drag it onto the adjustment layer. But for this example, I'm just going to drag it onto the following clip. Um, so what we're going to do next is go to our effect controls. And we will see here our dynamics. We then go to edit under custom setup. And what we're going to do is select this tick box here, the limiter. And under threshold, we're going to go for minus six. So this now means that our audio level cannot go above minus six and therefore distort essentially. Um, so go ahead and click play. What is a digital strategy and why does your company need one? Before we begin. So it's just a nice way to make sure your audio levels stay um, in a nice place and don't distort. Um, this can s save your project from looking unprofessional, for example. Um, and just cleans up um, the whole audio side of the project. So that's one thing I would mention. Um, again, there's plenty of other things you can do. So let's go back to our audio field. So another thing we can do is right click on the audio meter um, and this allows you to select different ranges. So this won't affect your actual audio itself. So don't be worrying about that but it does affect the way in which you read it. So it just allows you to let select a few different ranges depending on what sort of audio you're working on. Um, another thing I would mention is this show valleys. So for example, if I take this and then I play, you will see that basically, if you keep an eye here, the two gray lines, um, that's essentially the minimum um, level that the audio will go to. So if I click play again, keep an eye out for the grey lines. Hello and welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. My name is Terence and in So the reason that the grey lines aren't at the very bottom is there is background music to this, so there's always going to be a constant um, level um, throughout this, which Premiere is able to pick up, so that's quite a handy feature to keep in mind. Um, so just take that off. Another thing to note is if audio does happen to go above zero, um, this is what's known as um, it reaches the noise floor where basically the system noise is louder than the signal. So if I go right click on our audio clip, let's choose this one. And audio gain. And as you can see, it's set to zero. And if I increase this to 17 and then click play. The internet is just about everywhere, connecting people and- You can see that that's going way above zero. Um, 
and it just doesn't sound great so try and steer away from doing that and um, there are ways to increase um, audio levels without um, distortion so just keep that in mind um, for future reference um, so that's basically all I have to say on audio levels. If you do have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments section below and one of our team will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.